Welcome to the Ladies European Tour. This week we're in Helsingborg in Sweden. With its coastal location perched on the southern tip of the country, in the Skorna region it offers sun, sea and sand for summer holiday makers. But it was the Vassatorp Golf Club which was the focus where a strong international field were battling to be crowned the 2013 Helsingborg Open champion. Many eyes were on Solheim Cup record breaker Caroline Headwall, the Swedish star, the main attraction after her five points helped Europe win the trophy on US soil for the very first time. Penilla Lindbergh splits her time between Europe and the US, but playing on a course just 30 minutes from where she was brought up. The Swedes showed there's no place like home. A brilliant round of 66, Lindbergh in the groove. Yet it was I.K. Kim who held the lead at the end of the day. There wasn't a single bogey on the card for the Korean, but plenty of birdies, seven in total. Her approach play was brilliant throughout and she didn't miss on the greens either. A round of 65 on the past 72 course saw her out in front on the leaderboard. Lindbergh just one shot back while a host of players shot four under on a day of low scoring. Swedish rookie Camilla Lennart, one of those impressing. ISPS hander, Order of Merit leader Liam Pace is the model of consistency. One of the best putters on tour, she followed up a 69 with a 68. No player shot lower and in the conditions highly impressive as the South African moved into a share of second with IK Kim. Kim's short game was working well but the rest came up a little short as the wind claimed another victim. All she could manage was a level pass 72. There was a surprise leader at the end of the day, Valentine Derry. The French woman has never won on the Ladies European Tour, but she proved her first round 68 was no fluke. Following it up with another, the French woman was in front by one, but with the leaderboard packed with quality, the pressure was on. Rebecca Artis remained the epitome of consistency. A 69 on day one, a 71 on day two, and once again, she went one under par. The Australian has been in good form of late and was clearly enjoying her golf in Sweden. Valentin Derry had a strange day out on the course. A triple bogey at the seventh was tempered by this fantastic putt at 17. There was a rare sight on day three, Liam Pace shooting over par. Only just though, still plenty of good shots from the South African, a 73 moving her to six under overall and into a share of second with Derry. The day belonged to one woman, however, Caroline Headwall. She almost holed a tee shot at the fourth and a five under 67, left a 10 under for the tournament. The home favorite was in control. Hedwall had the luxury of a four shot lead then, surely only a bad day from the Swede on Sunday or a brilliant round from a rival could deny her victory. The overnight leader struggled from the start on Sunday, however, she simply couldn't get going on the greens, the putts coming up short, to the disappointment of the packed galleries. <laughs> Rebecca Artis was having no such problems, however. Two under for the round as she approached the 11th, this set up another birdie chance. Headwall, meanwhile, was dropping shots. The overnight leader had a double bogey at the fifth. This was another bogey at the tenth. The putter wasn't working. <laughs> Rebecca Artis, by contrast, cleaned up all her chances. This moved her to three under for her round, Headwall was in trouble and Artis sensed her chance. <laughs> Valentine Derry was another who couldn't get going in the very windy conditions. She mixed birdies and bogeys to leave her level as she approached the 11th and another wayward approach meant the Frenchwoman would drop another shot. She never recovered and it wasn't happening for Headwall either. Her frustration was obvious. A second bogey in a row at the 11th, the Swede not having the final day she dreamt about. Her healthy lead had suddenly evaporated.
Further down the field, there was a welcome return to form for Laura Davies. Davies hasn't been at her best this year, struggling with the putter, but not this week. She put in one of the rounds of the day, a 69, good enough for a top five finish. Rebecca Artis had higher hopes. The Australian has never won on tour and had struggled with nerves when she'd found herself in good positions previously. Not so in Sweden at eight under. This approach at 17 set up yet another birdie chance at just the right time. Leanne Pace, meanwhile, had a back nine to forget. Playing in the last group alongside Headwall, she couldn't mount a challenge. This approach led to her third drop shot. Her chances of winning had disappeared. Artis, though, was playing brilliantly. This putt may have wiped its feet on the way in, but the Australian moved to nine under. Headwall, playing in the group behind, found it hard to watch. But Artis, playing the last, suddenly looked nervous. A relatively easy par putt slipped past ooze from the crowd. Her lead was down to one. Eight under for the tournaments, however. It was simply brilliant final day golf from the Australian. A bogey though meant a birdie for Headwall at the last would force a playoff. But playing from the light rough, she couldn't get enough spin on the ball to stop it on the green. It rolled through, the smile on Headwall's face was one of frustration, the crowd not getting the winner they so desperately wanted. There was still a chance, of course, Hedwell needed to hold the chip. Unlikely and never really threatened. For the waiting artists, it was time to celebrate fellow LET player Stacey Keating, the first to congratulate her compatriot. Final round of 69 then, just enough to secure Rebecca Artis, her very first LET title by a stroke from Caroline Headwall. Valentin Derry took third with Leanne Pace back in fourth and Laura Davies in fifth after her 69. After her opening day 65, world number 10 IK Kim could only manage a share of 10th. Artis, the champion, the 24-year-old getting the breakthrough after four years on tour and in a high quality field, it was all the more impressive. Well, you know, I just had to go out there and play steady golf early and see if I could make a couple of birdies early on and get myself in contention on the back nine, tough conditions. So I just had to stay patient out there, fairways, greens, and uh, see what happened. And I did that, um, made some good birdies out there, kept myself in it. and. I tried to not look at too many leaderboards, but it's hard. But uh, no, it's a great day. Played great golf all day. Leanne Pace's fourth place in Sweden meant she extended her lead over second place Suzanne Pettersson at the top of the ISPS Handa Order of Merit. Rebecca Artis's victory meant she made a huge jump from 45th place into the top 10 in ninth position. American Beth Allen tops page three in 17th place, while German Anka Lindner is having a great year inside the top 20 after her recent victory in Pilsen. Despite missing the Swedish event, English teenager Charlie Hull is still at the top of the Rolex Rookie of the Year standings, just clear of Holly Clyburn. While it's Inby Park in front on the Rolex World Rankings going into the final major of the year, the Evian Championship in France from the 12th to the 15th of September. <laughs>